Hello there, this is Ashra from Zenon Studios and uh, today I want us to draw a segmental arch in AutoCAD. This very one. Perfect. So um, let's dive in right away. As you can see, the span of this arch is uh, 1400. 1400. So um, I'm going to draw a line that is 1400. Aha, uh -huh, perfect. Now we all know that um, the distance between this line, what we call the springing line, and uh, the underside of the intradus at the key brick here is what we call the is what we call um, the rise, the rise of the arch. And we know that the rise of the arch is usually um, an eighth of the span. The rise is usually an eighth of the span. So I'll need to multiply an eighth by 1400 to get the rise of the segmental arch. So you can grab a calculator. Uh, you can use the one that Windows provides, or you can use one that uh, AutoCAD provides. Simply come over here to Utilities, and uh, there is a calculator just here. So click that calculator, Utilities, then click the calculator, and there we have it. Um, so I'm going to say one, four. Zero, 0 I'm dividing this by 8 and uh, we get 175 so I'll close this arc so um, I'm going to draw a line from the midpoint of this line remember we said the midpoint snaps as a triangle and if yours is not snapping simply come over down here and make sure that the midpoint this is checked make sure it's checked so the midpoint I'm drawing a line that is 175 which is the rise of my span now if you remember how to draw a segmental arch using uh, your pencil and drawing instruments you join this point to this one and then you divide this line that you've just drawn. So that's what I'm going to do. How do we divide a line in AutoCAD? We can do it um, using very many methods, but uh, the simplest, the one that is related to the one that you use using a freehand is what we are going to use. So we are going to divide this like we do it using a pencil and a compass. So I'm going to draw an arc here and an arc down and also draw an arc here so that I draw a line. Perfect. So grab, come here arc, then come down here to the center start end, um, stand here at this point. Um, I'm going to use a radius of, um, if you see, if you can see what AutoCAD is giving me, it's 546. So I'm going to use a radius of 540, enter draw an arc just like that one then I also need to draw the same arc on this other side so come here and uh, the radius of the arc is 540 enter uh, remember AutoCAD draws in the counterclockwise direction so you simply have to hit control so that it can draw in the clockwise direction now you can see that they are meeting there okay so i'm going to simply mirror these two to the underside of that line so i'm selecting them then select mirror then this is my mirror line to there erase no so i'm going to draw a line that uh, joins the intersection the intersection snaps as an x so if you see an X, you know that you have the interception, the intersection of those X. Now we've divided this line into two. Now, 
if you remember correctly how to draw this using your pencil and compass the line that you've just drawn has to meet the line from the center of the arch so i'm going to extend this line remember this is vertical so i can simply extend it what what you do is select it then click the node down and uh, simply hold and stretch all the way to let's say there uh, we are trying to make sure that the line that divides this line into two meets this line so we are extending it like that so what do we do remember that trim command it has a drop down and it has the extend this extend option so click that press enter on your keyboard and then uh, simply select the object you want to extend and it will simply extend it there now this point that you've gotten is the center of the arch so what are we going to do grab the uh, the arc center start end and uh, specify center this is our center then um, come back here that point and draw an arc to that point perfect okay perfect so we have that right there so what we need to do now is to obtain the extra dose and by obtaining that we need to offset that curve by a distance of 2 to 5 so select it select the offset tool then we are offsetting it by 2 to 5 click enter and we have it there now what we are going to do is uh, we need to divide this extra dose into segments of 75 okay so remember the draw tab the drop down has this option the last option here the measure so grab it say select object this is our object and uh, the length of the segment is 75 which is the height of a brick click enter it has divided but uh, you just need to tweak a little more options here so that we can see the divisions so simply type on your keyboard D, D, P, and you're going to see DDP type, so click that, then you'll get this. So I'm going to select this, and I'm also going to set size in absolute units, and click OK. Perfect, and there we can see now the points that divide this extra dose. Now I'm going to grab my line tool, and I'm going to draw lines from there make sure that your cursor snaps to these divisions if it doesn't just come down here drop down and make sure the node is checked okay so uh, pick your line tool and uh, make sure it snaps to this intersection which is actually the center of the arch and uh, there so do this for all the points do this for all the points there is a faster way of doing this uh, and we shall look at that in other videos um, i'm assuming you are a beginner here so let's use this easy one So I'm zooming in and out so that I can see what I'm doing. To zoom in and out, simply roll. Roll the wheel on your mouse. Perfect, and this is my last one. And I'll join it there. Perfect. Now um, I've drawn lines that show my vosas, but then um, I don't need some information here. I don't need these lines here, so I'm going to delete them. How do I do that? Grab your trim tool, and it's telling us to select an object. This is the reference. Where are you trimming from? And I'm trimming from this introduce, and I hit enter, then I select everything down here, and it will trim to the 
introduce perfect i don't need these so i'll delete them i don't need this line anymore i don't need this line anymore i don't need this line and these acts so i'll delete them perfect so you have um something there and i'll also delete this line because i don't need it so i'll select everything here and i'll simply mirror it to my right to create a complete um segmental arch now what we need to do now is to simply put a dimension a title and uh, some labels so dimension come up here pick that uh, pick the dimension tool you dimension in that to that and you want the dimension to stay there we dimension but we can't see our dimension so what do we do you have to increase the scale of the dimension so annotation come to the dimension modify modify primary units i'm going to first reduce this to zero feet then come to feet and change this scale to something like um 80 let's try 80 and see close Eight is still small so i'm going to give it um, times two 160 modify so let me give it actually 180 close perfect um that will work 180 will work and then i need to put these um leaders i need to label so grab the leader tool you're labeling the key brick there and type key brick click outside but it's small so come to the leader and uh, modify i'm going to use 160 because go to the leader structure it worked for the other one so 160 160 okay close perfect and you have it then i need to also label the boosters so this Users, I can see this was labeled. Uh, two users were labeled. So click that node. Simply select the leader. Click that node and say add leader. Add a leader there. You can also add a third leader there and hit escape. And there you have it. Then we need to put a title. We need to put a title segmental arch so what do we do come over here to the text and we are going to select a single line that is my single line the text height here should be about um, 50 because the distance from here up to here is 1400 so that's a big distance so the text here height should be about uh, 50 enter then uh, angle of rotation is zero enter then you can say this is a segmental, segmental arch perfect that's it there we have our segmental arch nice and easy thanks for watching this tutorial uh, please kindly like and subscribe to this channel refer all your friends to come and learn from here and uh, put your comments in the comment section tell us what you want us to do tell us where you're having problems so that we can come in and help thanks for watching i remain ashraf from zero studios have a nice day